Grab your drinks, folks. It is time to put the world away. Welcome back to Chesant, guys. I haven't quit on you. I'm not going to quit on you guys. I'm not quitting on Chesant. We're here. The last time you guys seen me was August 18th. Why did I look? Because I did look at the schedule, but I don't want to show you guys that first. I want to get this transfer window is done. Um, remember at the beginning of September, it was done. But you can always sign freeze. You can always up until March 27th, I believe. And again, I have to remind myself all the time. Let's go. So after August 18th, you guys know I lost both of our starting awesome championship goalkeepers. Okay, so moved on. We found some other ones. So we loaned out Alex Lewis, a youngster, I think. I came through our academy, I think. I think top another. Okay, and then Ryan Thomas. I actually signed him, and I just loaned him out. He's loaned at... Um, haven't Waterloo. And then Thomas Brown. Remember him? He's the trialist. I tried to get rid of his butt because he's stuck still on the trialist team. I don't know how to fix it, guys. <laughs> it is so funny. But I offered him to clubs. Nobody wanted him. They wanted him on loan. So I got a team. Um, They're paying a big chunk of his way. I'm paying 3000 per week. They're paying 1800 So... Not quite the full contract, but he's just here until the next year. 2036, his contract expires. I can't wait. He's that Mr. Red Card. How's he doing out on loan to Markham? He's only played one, and he sucked. Oh, he's did he get injured or something? Why has he only played one twisted ankle? Four weeks. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, again, guys, Thomas Brown, that Red Card. Can't we can't blame it on one, folks? And you guys, you know, I know that, right? But it's so easy to do. He got that red card, prevented us from staying in the championship. But again, it wasn't all his fault. It was us. We just sucked all that year, and we didn't stay in the championship. But we're back here in League One. Let's let's move forward. What has happened since then? There was the outs. What ins did I sign in before the transfer window has closed? Richard Bradley. You guys remember we got <laughs> the last episode? You guys see me get beat by Forrest Green? Right? Well, look who I signed. <laughs> Richard Bradley, their goalkeeper. He played that one. He had that awesome, I think it was player of the match against us. I was like, well, we're not having that. And remember, I needed goalkeepers because our two goal, our championship rated, according to our scouts, their current ability already was championship. They both They both left. So we, we signed the first goalkeeper we faced here in League One. I signed it for 105000 So welcome aboard, <laughs> Richard Bradley. If you can't beat him, buy him, right? You can't beat him, buy him. There you go. Put that on the T-shirt. So that there's there's that. Then I signed um, Aaron Wilbot from Leicester, 11000 Um, a defender. But he can actually play fullback. He's decent with both feet. So there you go. Like those versatile players. He can jump, jump, baby. 6'4", 17, jumping reach. Got some potential. So welcome aboard, Wilmot. That will come back to him. Ryan Thomas, you guys just seen. I signed him on a free. And again, you can, I can sign frees up until March, but this was the best free. And I look on that. Look once in a while, guys, at the scouting and look at the freeze. There's freeze out there. Just All of a sudden, they just appear like, whoa, look at this guy. He's like four stars five-star potential what the hell just keep looking in the scouts periodically um ryan's out so he's loaned out and then ant i couldn't pass up on a name that has ant norwich three hundred seventy-five thousand. ant sippets he's a six four giant ant okay another defender you guys know i like defenders Jumping reaches 16. He can play also this right back, but also like a ball winner. Central midfielder defend. I'm playing more of a box to box, but then I know that I know that's not his role because he can't dribble or finish. But maybe a central midfielder defend. I played him a few times and a ball winner to make sure we win the match to kind of sure things up because I've been playing box to box player. So maybe a kind of a sit back at the end of the match if we're ahead by one or two goals and and uh, again, a defender that's got a three, possibly four-star potential, 20-year-old ant. 
And then this, yeah, this guy here, oh, my scouts, I wasn't patient enough, guys. The scouts initially said he was a four, four and a half star potential, but then he came here, spent, that's big money for us still. Still, I know we have like seven, a six, seven million in the in the bank, but it, so that's that's yeah, that's a big chunk still, half a million from Portsmouth. Jordan Parrish, three and a half star. He's got he's only eighteen. I was like, oh right, only eighteen. He actually had more when he came here potential, and he's injury prone. I don't remember seeing that because I'm just it's a 50 50 though. You guys know that through my past history, that I'll take a gamble on some of these injury prone players. I mean, I advise you to go in here in his history. He got here. Wait, I'll, I'll show you guys. What did he? What did he sign here? Uh, transfers. Bought by Chesant, August thirty first. Take a look at his injury. August thirty first. <laughs> soon as he saw. Soon as he saw. <laughs> As I have this picture in my mind, it's 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 just probably funny in my mind until I say it through my words. And you're like, what the hell is this guy laughing about? What is Showboat Mango laughing about? I could just picture him. He's signing his contract and he got excited and he tweaked his neck right after he put his signed his uh, name on the contract and he went, yeah, to celebrate. And he goes, oh, my neck, my neck. Yeah, it's a damaged neck out for three three weeks. Oh, yeah, he jumped. He was jumping for joy. <laughs> after he signed his contract, which what's he making? Just a thousand per week, but that's probably the best he's had. I mean, he was he came through the Portsmouth Academy. Anyway, I wish him the best. He's he's according to this, he's naturally fit. 18. He's a shorty, 5'6. And a playmaker, I wanna say. Maybe box to box. We'll see how it develops. A finishing. I think I have him training as a box to box. Actually, no, I have him as a deep lying playmaker, huh? I like box to box training because that that just gets more things. Yeah, I'll take over this guy's more things highlighted, more things uh, uh, training. If that's how it works. Um, so there is the ends, folks. We got a team of the registration. 17 only registered, but again, you know, the under 21s, the players at the age of 20 don't have to be registered, and, and all the and the goalkeepers don't have to be registered as well. <clears throat> what has happened, folks? What has happened? Um, if I can click the right button, guys, I, I always change these buttons around to make it more easy, but, <laughs> but it, it's not happening. Board. Completed the coaching course. Improve youth recruitment, guys. They let me do that. I was like, oh, right, giddy up. And then the scouts were in, in, in improved. And training facilities, I think I should mention this last time, they were improved. And look what's in progress. It should be done in three weeks. The youth facilities. So things are moving up here, folks, little by little. We've got exceptional junior coaching. Above average now with the youth recruitment adequate now so from below average one notch above uh, below average is adequate then after adequate i'm guessing it's above average i don't know yet i i, I used to know youth level is still a four but things are moving up slowly but surely we're still future stadium plans guys are searching for a site a plan capacity of fifteen thousand one hundred ninety seven and they're all seated so things are moving up we've been sitting in this when renting out in Bormwood uh, Meadow Park uh, when renting it out for just over sixteen thousand per year the 52 52 capacity with just over two thousand seated we got to move on to greener pastures right what has happened I think that's it guys the dynamics looking good very good good all right, O'Hara did oppose me, but he's moving up slowly up the pyramid here because he's the captain, the loney, Howard's the vice. So what's happened, guys? Remember we, we had the 1-0 loss, the opening up the opening up the season. What has happened? I think I yelled at some of the guys. I gave them warnings after that first game. I want goals. Did, did we get goals? Take a sip of your drink. We got goals, folks. Did we ever get goals until these last few matches? I'm starting a little bit. Hey, where's our strikers at? I'll, well, let's one thing at a time, though. We came home after that forest green. You guys seen five, folks. Five goals against Ipswich. 
Neil, Daniel, Neil Craman had 70th at 72nd in the 94th. A hat trick. Woohoo! And then Howard had a, uh, one in the 91st minute. So a few late minute goals there. They had that one minute, or no, 11 minute penalty. All right, moving on at home. Uh, staying at home, Walsall got pounced by us by another hat trick. You've seen this, guys? I think I've seen this in a couple of times, but I don't, I don't think I've seen back to back three times in a row, but twice I've seen it. And that's what happened here. Back to back hat tricks from Craman. Third, 46th, and the 61st. Neil actually got a couple and hard tongue. 78th. He's got a hard tongue. Yeah, that's it. Hard tongue. I mean, that's his nickname, huh? Ipswich again? Wait, what? Oh, the Carabao. Carabao, Copoba. Got a lot of, got three home matches to win, and it went down to penalty. They played us tough. Uh, penalties and the penalty shootout, folks. It did say, I wish it would have said, it did, it says missed. They missed three. But let me tell you something. Cockings. <laughs> he cock blocked them because these were all, <laughs> he saved them all. They weren't just missed. He saved them. Cocking saved us there in the penalty. So, again, he had the 7.6 as he did great in that penalty shootout. What's his one-on-ones? A 14. Not bad. Good job for Connor Cockings. And that's that's that. Moving on to September. Folks playing Salford. Now we went away. 2-0. Another clean sheet. Right? That's only... Actually, that was just our second clean sheet right there. Uh, Bradley came in. So I was playing... Played Cockings here. Played Cockings there. Then I signed Bradley. Went right in away. Yep. For the uh, goalkeeper. I did play Cockings there in that Carabao. And then back to Bradley, 2-0. Craman, another. He is on fire. Penalty. Uh, and then Daniel Neal again. Um, home against Tottenham. It was a close one here. Papa John's. We love our pizza, though, folks. I mean, it came down to the wire. It was 2-2. O'Hara got a O'Hara, folks. The youngster from Chelsea. The 20-year-old striker slash inside forward slash winger. All up top. Up on the treetop, folks. O'Hara got the... The hat trick, a 90-second goal to win it for us. Good job from him. Moving on. And the Papa John's. So we then Wrexham. Look at all these home matches in a row. We just got lucky with the, the draws of Papa John. Oh, we just It's a rotation anyway, right? Papa John's. It's a um, group E. We all play each other homes in a ways, don't we? Isn't there? How many, how many games are there again? Oh, guys. How many times have I played this competition? Anyway, we got to play a, a few series of games. I think it's just the roll of the dice. We don't play each other twice. I forget how many times it is. Just once, I, I think. And then we move on from the groups. Um, it'll come back to me. Uh, Wrexham, Crayman scored. Uh, so he, as you guys, he is on. What a big difference, right? I mean, from from the Skybet Championship, this is the quality of the players, or maybe they're, it's their confidence, or it's just maybe I have, this is the best team I've put together. Maybe a combination of all those things, and our training facilities are better. But we just got those, the new training. But, I mean, it's a, it's a 180. Maybe it's the formation. I'm going 4-2-3, more of attacking. And the championship, we just could not get a freaking goal. I mean, I mean, Craman was the best in the championship with 12. But, I mean, he's already, he's already got nine. <laughs> and seven, with the six starts, he's got nine goals in the league. Oh, folks, it, uh, I, I'm not. I'm, I'm hoping this continues, folks. So, Northampton, that, would, that one was a close match. That one was a close one. Because right, they had the one in the 59th. We were 2 1, and they had the one in the 59th. And then it was, if I remember right, Northampton was making some last minute. They were, they were, it was all their highlights the last minute. But Hodgson, the, uh, he's ours now, is he? No, he's the loney from Chelsea. I thought I actually bought him from Chelsea, but no, we can't afford him. Maybe, maybe now we could have. He's valued just 105000 to $1.5 million. Anyway, he's the loney from Chelsea. He got a good header on a set piece. And then look who scored, guys. The Jamaican me crazy guy. Can you 
what the, the deal? I just, I, I stayed with him. I know he got seven goals in the championship. He's way outclassed, I guess, because they're saying he's a Scott. I mean, it did say. So he's made a little bit of improvements. His current ability was a League Two player. So now it's a good League One. I mean, he's busting the goals in there for Jamaica. 23 appearances for Jamaica, 24 goals. He's having a tough time, <laughs> tough time here. But he made one there against Northampton to win it for us. Uh, Lincoln. And then our goal, our strikers here, I was starting to worry. So are we going back? There's three goals. There's two goals. There's one goal. I hope today, guys, we don't have 0-0 zero, zero goals here. We got to get back on the goals because, I mean, these last two games against with Lincoln and Charlton, they came from a guy that I'm not expecting goals from. Even though he's got a 12 finishing, he's not bad. And I thought about getting rid of him, I think it was the year or the year before. But I stayed with him because I just seen his numbers look, look good. Excel, he's a 14 man. Excel, pace, crossing, dribbling, and, and this is that's quality for League One. And he, to be fair, he didn't do too bad. He had two starts last year, the championship, 14 off the bench. And Emmer, 6.7 is average. So he actually played above average in the championship. I mean, again, he only came in off the bench. Jack Price, folks. Jack Price, the winger. And he scored the last two matches thanks to him. We got three points each game. Lincoln, that was it. The one goal. Uh, clean sheet, though. Bradley's in there. And another... Oh, I put Cockings in there for the Carabao. And that might be our farthest that we've ever been. The third round? Uh, little do I remember, guys. The third round competitions... Look at me fly through this like I know what I'm doing. Carabao Cup. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. We're in the fourth round? Yeah, yeah. Fourth. Hello. Yeah, after three is four. Second, first, first. Yeah, it's the farthest we've been. Who are we playing? Did we have a draw yet? Burnley at home. Why couldn't we get in the way? Right? Because we'll get half the gate receipts. And they get a lot bigger stadium than we got. I'm sure of it. Yeah, 28,000. And they're in the premiership. Of course, we're going to sell out, but we just got that little dinky 5,000 stadium attendant. Ah, I wanted an away match. Well, you know what that means? We're just going to have to beat Burnley and then get to the, the fifth round. Or what's after the fourth? It's the quarterfinals. We're going to have to get to the quarterfinals, guys. Beat Burnley. And today we got Bristol Rovers and Plymouth. Let's go enough chit chatting. Again, like I like I showed you guys, my strikers didn't get goals here. So I was a little bit worried. Um there. So let's move on. Let's show you some go two away matches today. Bristol Rovers right now is sitting 17th. Here is the here is the league. After seven played, we are sitting top, folks. And you can see, look at it is all us just about up here in the best players. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Who do we got? We got some guys hurt or what? We got a few guys that are injured. Um, it's funny, right? Thomas Brown, since he's somehow, guys, he's magically on this trialist team, right? I I have, look at the filter, right? Not at club. Okay, he, okay, Richard Morris is not at club, so I click this. Boom, he'll disappear. Thomas Brown doesn't disappear. He Even though he's not at the club, he's on loan at Morecambe. More can be. Is that how you say it? More can be. But since he's on the trialist, the game is so confused. I broke I broke the game. And then the youngster, Aquila, and I put him in the last match, like on the 80th minute, and he got a freaking damaged cruciate ligaments. That is a big one, folks. We'll see if he can bounce back from that. But five to seven months. He's that youngster, playmaker. I was hoping big things from passing, vision, very good, 21-year-older. That's not a good thing there. So he's gone. That's that's season that's season ending there. Uh, Parrish, Mr. Hurt guy coming, Mr. Jumping Up for Joy got hurt on after he signed his paperwork. <laughs> his hurt. And then Oakley just took a hurt, fractured his ribs, eight days to two weeks. I've been playing him as central midfield. Still developing well. Attacking central midfielder. He's a playmaker. Um, if I ever played him up top, yeah, it would have to be two. I wouldn't play him solo up top. I mean, deep lying forward. 
That's it. Let's go. Let's get going. That's enough talking. Let's roll Bradley and goal, folks. We got Kit. You're going to see a little rotation today because two days later, or three days later, is Plymouth. Baker and Prince, guys. I'm just hovering over them. You guys can see their development. O'Hara inside forward. Is that what I want to do? Yes. Uh, Neil. Central attacking midfielder. He's definitely lots of arrows going down. Stamina's going. Okay, so, okay, there's a couple. Let's go. And then the hard tongue. Inverted winger. Determination is going down. That's probably associated with his uh, associated. His training, his mentorship. Where's he at? I don't even see him in here. It's sometimes they'll have a... If he's partner meant get mentored by somebody that has a lower determination, his determination will also go down. <clears throat> Some big clubs coming at want him though. Everton and Stoke. And then Kramen up top, folks. Hopefully they'll bang in some goals for you. Um uh, see who I got in the bench here. Oh yeah, yeah. I, um Brand Defender he could play the whole back though. Howard, pl uh, playmaker, winger, all up top basically. Jack Price, the left winger, he's the hot man. Should start him, but I'm not. Hardwick just got back from his injury, folks. So he's slowly he's, he's gaining the sharpness. He's the playmaker. Wilmot is that young defender. Lapardo, central midfielder, defend. And then striker. Wait, I don't have a winger. Yeah, or Bryn, but he's not a going forward guy. I like a going forward winger. Um, I really don't want to see this Brown's face. So what I what I do, guys? Unavailable. I know it clicks off my injured guys, too. But I don't want to see that freaking guy's face. He's doing pretty good, Sam. Am I my line yet? Well, he has played the two. He's a 35 year old. Good mentals. Both foot. Um, and Harvey. Let me play that right side. I'm looking for it back uh, over there. Who do I? I have Evans. Yeah, Bryn. Hold on, guys. Hold on. What do I want to do here? Um, shoot. Where are we at? Lepardo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it Wilmot? He can kind of, I guess, fullback defend. I'm not real confident. You can tell my voice. <laughs> my voice. I've been playing Adams. Adams, actually, he has a decent left foot, so he can, he can play both sides. So let's put Adams on there. Wilmot will take we'll put Adams over there. I I got some depth this year, guys. I got it's nice to have depth, but so you know, especially with close games like that, three days later, all these guys that are playing this match aren't gonna unless they get substituted off early, but they're not gonna be um, fully fit to play next match. So it's nice to have a depth squad that you, that uh they can, you know, put some guys in that uh, close matches that are um, fully fit. But you just gotta, you just gotta look on what you promised them. If you promised them all star players, they're not gonna like that. No, I want to play every match, coach. So there's Neil, the free kick. Let's go. I want some. I want some goals, folks. The last two matches, you know, they uh, the goals came from our winger, their price. And Price isn't on the pitch currently. So let's bounce back and get some more goals. I like those five and six goals. And the commanding, a, 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 a commanding win. Oh, there's O'Hara, but it's wide. Is that guy's name? Savin, huh? That's a cool name. Remember the Seinfeld? You guys watch any Seinfeld? You guys know what I'm talking about? Seinfeld is a, it was a, a series, for, but it was on 10 years or so sitcom comedy but there was one episode where George was saying you know a good name for your your, your son would be seven his name's seven 
Look at that guy's hair on that other guy's team. Did you guys see that? So Prince has got a yellow. He's nervous. I usually don't do this, but I'm, before halftime, we're going to sub him off. And I'm going to put... Is he the vice captain? <laughs> yeah, he's vice captain. Howard's the captain. All right, we're putting him as the playmaker. Make me proud. You guys, I'm actually kind of a little bit worried some here. We have not had a goal from a striker in, in two. This will be the third match. Um, You're not good enough in front of the goals. Disappointed here. We need to be, we need to be better. I haven't changed any tactic or any of the instructions. Work in the box. We had six shots, only two on target. Yeah, I, I demand more. I know I just said all the things at halftime. They're all confused now. What's Neil? He's looking frustrated. Well, you know, Mr. Frustrated, you can sit there and think about it because we're going to put on, we're going to put the Jamaican guy in there as a sh 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 shadow striker, folks. Uh, six, five, hard time, man. Seems very motivated, though. We'll keep... Whoa! Hodgson is beat. We're going to take out the defender. We're going to put in Bryn. I know his heading sucks, but he's got good positioning, tackling. Um, I mean, the other option would be Adams, not a 5'9 defender. I mean, there's shorties out there in the real world, right? That play central defender. They're out there. They're good. White House free kick. Well, that's different. Way out there to the to the flanks. Bradley held that up. All right, you guys. I, I need I need some goals. I like gold. That's what makes my heart pound. That's what gets my blood flowing, folks. That's what gets me up in the morning. I need goals, folks. Howard O'Har O'Hara Baker shoots. Outside the box, and it goes over. Oh, Har and Kramen, a 6-2 and a 6-5. Kramen's not his game. They don't like the YouTube, do they? You know what? We're going to mix it up here. I think O'Hara can play central. No, he can't. Um, Kramen inside forward. Are you beat? What are you, what's, what are you looking like? Where are you at, Kramen? No, he's still good. Good. O'Hara, you're nervous. You're nervous? Okay, that means you're playing striker. <laughs> okay. Hard tongue up there. Inverted winger. Inverted winger. Let's, let's do the support role. Got three strikers up here. And then, man, my defense. Um, shh. Shoot, folks. <laughs> Where did I put the shorties in there? I mean, look how beady he is. What's, what's Kit? Nope, he's only... It. And then Evans, 5'11", the six header. All right, we got to take him out, right? I mean, he is poor conditioning, and that's my best defender. Well, guys, it's going to be... It has to be Adams. It's going to have to be a 5-9 defender. With the cover duty. I mean, he's quick. Good, okay positioning. Okay, Adams. Show me something, buddy. We need you to step up. Mr. Adams, let's put him on cover. And then I got one more sub. We'll leave it for a few more minutes, folks. So here we go. Let's go out there. I got attacking duty. Let's ignore that. Whatever that was, they're telling me to mark somebody. They are playing us tough. What formation? Now that I... 4-3-3, three, three, defensive midfielder. And that, actually, they're playing an anchor man. We cannot break these guys down. More direct passing. Let's hit the early crosses. Okay. 
I know how to pick them for YouTube. And I've seen it. The last two matches, like I said, the strikers did not score. And it's like, okay, this there's something that I am doing differently. But I'm not. I didn't change anything. We're going to put in Lopardo. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four. Oh, I did the max stoppages. That's why, guys, I can't count. Oh, man. There's only three stoppages. Yeah. Okay. We're on a gold drought. Our strikers are on a gold drought. I am not happy with that. I'm actually going to trash trash my arms, and I'm embarrassed. That is embarrassing. Daniel Neal looked anxious. That is embarrassing. And again, I know how to pick up our first draw this season. You guys got to witness it. Let's get to this next match. I got to get over this game. Back. Let's go away now to Plymouth. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right. A little bit of rotation, folks. Got, you know, O'Hara's a little bit tired from that last match. Man. So we got Bradley back in goal still. I got Adams back here. Um, fullback defend. Yeah, we're going to stay with fullback. I was debating about putting wing backs. We got Dunn and Hodgson. I was going to take Hodgson out and put in the... And, uh... Man. Uh, but Hodgson is... I mean, he's kicking He's kicking booty right now. 7-3-4 right there. And I know last the last game, the clean sheet was man. We're going to... Dunn. I'm trying to get a good rotation there in the defense. We got Dunn there. Who do I have on the bench? Uh, Bryn... Gus of <laughs> this guy, remember him? He could play. I mean, he's a youngster, but he, he's, he's according to this, he's so versatile. But a six marking, a five heading, six and a six tackling. Yeah, I mean that. The world's got to be falling apart. I'm training him as the inverted winger slash winger. Oh, he's at the 15 now on pace. Okay, he's the both footed all star. Oh, there was some teams, Premier League teams, wanting him. He's actually got a goal for Estonia. Okay. Gustav, he's the youngster. Um, I got the old man back here, guys. McClellan, McCallum, Sam, Sammy, McCallum. Still Baker and Prince. I want to put Hardwick. He's just not there yet. Might bring him off the bench. Um, Hard tongue out there. Still inverted winger. What's my other option? I could put Gustav. I could put Craymond. What did Hartung play a lot? I mean, he just had a, a shitty game. A 6-3. Six, a six you know what? I want some strikes. We're putting the uh, Jamaican me crazy guy up top. And then Craman inside forward. Why not? Howard and then Price, guys, that I was praising earlier. Hopefully, he'll show you guys some of these sweet, sweet crosses. And let's go. Is that what I want to do? I do have Ant in there, guys. Again, he's pretty, you know, block ball winning, and he's six four. Could play defense, and even on that right side, and I mean, he could actually play left as well. He's got a decent left foot. He just don't doesn't have a dot out there. Doesn't mean he can't play there, right? Have you ever played a a, a a player that didn't have a dot in a position and he did well? It's probably a, a small percentage, but it does happen. Let's go. Let's go. I want some goals. <laughs> you guys haven't seen any, right? You haven't. You haven't seen me. You've only. You've only heard about them and and seen the uh, the recap, right? The first match we lost Forest Green, and then the second match was just the last one was <laughs> nil nil. And then soon the next match. I swear to God, the next match, guys, I'll play. Uh, the you guys aren't watching. I'll score like seven freaking goals. And I don't do anything different. They're camera shy sometimes. What do I say? Kramen, inside four. Let's go. Well, there's a big gap there. Wait, what? Box to box. Okay, got a big gap there. They had all day there. Their central midfielder. They're out wide. They're moving it pretty good here. Oh, Bradley gets his fingertips to it. Saves that. That should be up. Yeah, he's up to a seven. 
And I've been, I guess I've been lucky in this save with goalkeeper, right? Do you ever have those saves? You're like, man, I can't, I can't ever find fullbacks. That's just, I think through every football manager, I say that. It just seems like that. It seems like every football manager, fullbacks, I have the hardest time trying to find. And they are moving the ball. Very good. Three shots, three on target for them. We've had one and one, but it's all them at home here. Uh, we have no guy closing down, huh? I like someone closing down that kicker. I thought I adjusted these set pieces. Apparently not. One shot, one on target. 54 possession. What is the scoop here? I'm demanding more. And what am I going to get? They're all going to be pissed at me, aren't they? Oh, no really reaction. Got another shot. This is not liking this, folks. Getting possession, but we're not getting it in. We're not. We're not even having a shot. You've done all well so far. No, no. Hands, I, I'm disappointed with the quality of it. It's got to be the passing then. Work in the box. I have shorter passing, more direct. You know what? We got the speed up. Let's go more direct then. Let's let's just see if we can get some kind of different result than what we're getting. Um, a six three by Prince. <sighs> yeah, maybe he needs a break. We're gonna put Hardwick in there. Remember, he was he's been he was the regular playmaker for a couple years, and then he just started getting injured. Four shots, one on target. Yeah, they're, it's all Plymouth here. 6-2 by the Jamaican. Jamaican me nuts. Just can't do it. I'm, I'm staying with you for some reason. Advance forward. You got that pace. The finishing off the ball. Don't pass it. So, yeah, maybe you're more of a, a poacher here. Let's try him at poaching. Baker, we're going to put the youngster. We're going to put Ant in there, guys. And I'm it's sitting back more, though. That's what... Now we're going to play him as a ball winner. He can't really pass, but... Ball winner, defend. Maybe that will help. Hodgson is he's fired up. We're going to put in... They're telling me to put in a Bryn. I, I kind of want to put Harvey, the 30-year-old defender. He's a ball-playing defender. 16, right? He's not bad. 13 marking, tackling. Heading's not bad. Positioning. A little bit slow. He's got the mentals, concentration. Oh, we're go I'm going to go with Bryn, though. Um, that's my first stoppage, right? That was the first stoppage. You guys got to see a goal. Are you guys jinxed? All right, I'm going to go attacking. They're looking nervous. A 6-1 by Johnson. A 6-1. Why am I keeping his ass in? <laughs> Put Neil up there. I've seen enough, Mr. Jamaican. Neil, 15 pace, your fresh leg, got good first touch. Let's go, the 19-year-old from Chelsea, going to do it? 70th minute, might as well make my last sub. Four, who's really beat? Craman is beat. Um, hard tongue is motivated. I was going to put this youngster in. Maybe he can do something. I'm going to put, he's motivated, hard tongue, inverted winger, attack. Go out there and make this happen. Wow. All right, guys. If you want to watch me for the rest of this, <laughs> of this season, if you want to watch no goals, whoa. That, <laughs> okay, we'll get f a fluky goal there. A fluky goal is still worth three points, isn't it? What happened here? Hey, Neil kicked it. Did he get someone? Did Hard Tongue? Hard Tongue? 
is the man of the moment. He just, I mean, just, he just turned his head like so easy, was it? There it is. I just brought him on. So it makes me look like a genius. And then the goalkeeper went right through his man. Cresswell is a ghost. Can we hang on here? Got a highlight. There's hard tongue. Fresh legs. Trying to find all the way. Price, the, the crosser. Oh. The old man. Oh, the old man did a pretty good uh, pass there up top. You guys, <laughs> we got the win. We got the win on, an, uh, on a set piece. <sighs> nice work. I really don't like what I've seen. So that's... I'll take it. It, it. It's always good to get a result when not playing as well as we know we can. Yeah, I'm going to point the finger in saying that. You guys, that's, that is not what I'm hoping for. I, I want to win 3-0 every game. <laughs> guys, we got points. We got points. We're still in first place. Uh, we just had maybe a good run here because we had one, two, three, four, five matches at home. I mean, these weren't the best. We, like I said, we just squeezed by. And again, that's four goals. To me, this is worrisome. You guys would be like, man, this is awesome. What are you complaining about? You've had four clean sheets in a row. To me, I don't. It's our strikers have not scored since what? This was the Jamaican guy. And Crayman was back. So four goals where our strikers don't score. To me, that's a little worrisome. I gotta figure out if they're not getting the if they're just off. Are they getting the ball up top? We just seen that. I gotta, you gotta look through the step. I mean, just eleven shots, only okay, four on target. Johnson, a six one. What was his last form? Um shots. According to this, he only attempted one shot and one on target. So who the hell took all this? Well, there's all, how many shots were there? There was 11. Who shot them all? Right? Attempted. Right? Shots. Attempted. on Attempted. Johnson. That was his two. Who else was this? O'Neal. Okay. He's the, he was the, uh, the striker that came on. Okay. There's, there's three. You know, we got one by a shot by a defender there. It was a set piece. Price took one. The winger. Crayman inside forward took one. Defender Hodgson's another defender took one. Hartung took the one. You know he took the one. He made the goal though. That set piece. That set piece. He came on the set. The seventy first minute became the player of the match. All right. Well, I'll figure out something. We got. I just want to get a lot of goals, folks. I want to dominate this league. And I mean, right now, I mean, we do have a little. Four screens got one game here. In hand, but we do have the top goal score. What am I complaining about, right, folks? We're in top. I'll see you guys. I'm gonna bust through this unless some shit hits the fan and we fall apart. But I'm expecting more green dots here, guys. Look, okay, we play MK Dons twice, Papa, and then the league. Finish up October. There's what one, two, three, four, five matches, six, seven. Maybe the FA Cup. Wow, the first round. I'll see you when I see you, folks. Thank you for watching. Remember, keep moving forward. There's the league picture, folks.